All right, guys, we're back. Good to see you. And I am here in the town of Leticia in Southern Colombia, going for a walk to explore the area, which is how many of these travel videos tend to begin. But this one is different because, yes, we're going to explore, but we will see during this walk, if we can call it, three countries, three different countries. Colombia, which is where we are right now, Leticia being the southernmost town of Colombia. And then we're gonna walk across into Tapatinga, which is part of Brazil. Basically a continuation of this urban area of Leticia. And then we're gonna catch a boat and cross over to Santa Rosa de Yavari, which is in Peru, because this is the Tres Fronteras area, the three frontiers, where the borders of the three countries meet here on the Amazon River. Now all of these towns are gateways into the Amazon jungle and there are quite a lot of people who come here in order to see the immense jungle and some of the animals that live in it, scary animals like caimans, anacondas, piranhas, jaguars, and many more. They actually usually don't care that much about this town, Leticia, but let's see if there's something interesting to do here. I think that's a mix of a native woman with a dress job like they do in, in Medellin. ¿Sí? ¿De dónde es el acai? El acai es una fruta del Amazonas. This is what you can get in Leticia. They ship it all over the world because of its properties and here it's local and get it. Let's try this. Okay. It's con uh, mucho azúcar, ¿no? Very sweet. Tiene mucho... Vitaminas, sí, sí, vitaminas. It's not bad. I think I would prefer a regular chocolate ice cream. <laughs> but yeah. It is interesting to note that Leticia was actually founded by Peruvians in around 1867, I think it was. And and then Colombians came here as well and they had kind of a dispute over the territory and they even fought a small conflict over this territory in the early 1900s until it was finally awarded to Colombia by the League of Nations, the precursor of the United Nations. American beer. Okay. You don't really see much going on as far as the border and that's because this is basically a free economic zone. Anybody can cross back and forth between Colombia, Brazil, and Peru without stamping their passports or anything. So here we are. Frontera, right? What's well, the control, even though there's really no need to do that. And here it is. Which country do you want to go to? Peru, Brazil, or Colombia? It's all here. Hola. <laughs> Tres fronteras. This is the border. So let's just walk here into Brazil. And here we go. Cambio la frontera. No aceptar pesos. No. No. Okay. Okay, it's Silka. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we gotta we gotta exchange. Uh, get get some uh, Brazilian money and maybe some Peruvian money. I don't know. De dónde eres? De Israel. Israel. Sí. Y tú, Brasil? Venezuela. 
Venezuela. Venezuela. Estuve en Venezuela ahora. ¿Eh? Para mes. En Caracas, en Margarita, Margarita Canaima, Canaima, ¿Ah? Margariteño. ¿De dónde? ¿Por la mar? Por la mar. Ah, sí, por la mar. Sí. This guy asking for some hot spot internet. ¿Dónde es más barato? ¿En Leticia o Tabatinga? Así que me para acá, para Tabatinga. ¿Tabatinga más, más barato? Oh, guys, you hear that? It's cheaper, it's cheaper in Tabatinga en Brasil. Bien. Gracias. All right. Got some Brazilian cash here. And we can now walk into Brazil. Anyway, really cool Brazilian money, I think. And they got some really nice Amazon animals there on the bill, which is appropriate because we are in the Amazon, right? Papatinga? The Brazilian side. Here we go. And look at all the Brazil flags. Very quickly it changes. That was also interesting meeting the Venezuelans because when I was in Caracas, I met a couple Venezuelans who'd been in this area. One of the guys actually told me after several years of being both in Brazil and Peru, He came back to Venezuela because the situation there improved and he's really happy that he was able to go back. So hopefully those Venezuelans also will be able to go back to their homeland sometime soon. The majority of the population in all of these areas is indigenous people. And for them, these borders didn't exist until the last century and a half or so. Therefore, The people actually mostly look the same after having walked here into Brazil. Of course, there was also an influx of people from other areas, particularly in Colombia, as they wanted to consolidate their hold on Leticia after the conflict with Peru. But still, most of the people here on the top, I think, aside, feels exactly the same, pretty much, as in Leticia, except, of course, for the fact that you have all these Brazilian flags and people speaking Portuguese, and the Brazilian police, border guards here as well, authorities. <laughs> and another thing, it turns out, is wandering into here, I don't have internet anymore. My Colombian internet package is now working across the border here in Brazil, well, at least after having walked about 15 minutes away from Leticia. So my Google Maps is telling me that up ahead is the port. So if I go over there, I'll be able to catch a boat into Peru and then back to Colombia to complete this little adventure. There's the Amazon. Finally, after a day of being here, to see the major geographical feature of this region that just dominates the entire region. And that's how everybody here gets around and goes from place to place. They take those boats on the Amazon, move hundreds and hundreds of miles in each direction, up to Iquitos in Peru and all the way upstream or downstream to Manaus and beyond, deep in the Amazon jungle towards Brazil. Now, my goal is a little bit more modest. <laughs> I just want to go a little bit that direction and get to Santa Rosa de Avari inside Peru size of it. It's crazy. Mm. Ah, in Manaus. Okay. Por qué aquí? En... Uh, en Tagatiba? Tabatinga. Por qué tú vives en Tabatinga? 
Línea. Ah, sí. Mujer. Sí, también. <laughs> ok. Mucho gusto. Gracias. All right. So, yeah. I mean, people here are going along the Amazon. And we're talking about three day journeys, seven day journeys to Manaus. Really, really long way for some of these guys. Ooh, I don't know about the safety of this. I think they could do a little better, but yeah, I just need to get to Santa Rosa de Avali, which is right over there. And really hope to get back, back to Colombia before the sun sets. It's actually taking a little longer than I thought it would take. water looks absolutely disgusting. Look how you just sink in the mud over here. These guys swimming in the mud. Get some work done on the docks. It is just over three months since I arrived in Egypt and got to see the Nile River. And there's still a debate about which is the longest river, the largest river, although usually they say it's the Amazon. And now I'm here at the Amazon. So got to see both of them in a very short space of time. And the Amazon is magnificent and it is huge, humongous. Botes en el río. The entro el río, este. Ah, yeah, las falsas, las casas flotantes. Sí, casas flotantes. Porque allá es muy bajo, ya no pueden, no pueden, si no, los botes de embarcaciones más. Es más fácil para comercializar tu Ah, wow. Ahí vienen a a comprar tus productos. Y es mucho comercial aquí. Eh, sí. En tres fronteras. Sí. Es un intercambio comercial sí. de productos peruanos, brasileros y colombianos. Se cambio monetario sí. constante. Qué bien. La qué economía bien. se mueve mucho. Sí, bien ah. para la económica de... De los tres países. Tres países. Ah, sí. se, se usa la moneda brasilera. Sí. Mejor pagar aquí ah, en reales. Okay. Reales. All right, that's lucky. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to pay for anything once I arrive there. Because I only have pistols and rails right now. I don't have soul yet. But uh, I'll still get my hands on the soul. Here we are docking. Payment for the boat. For the señor. Gracias. Gracias, señor. Dale. I mean, it's not the smoothest. Not the smoothest way to get off the boat and on to, to safe land. And I wonder what happens here when this place floods because we're now in the low season, so the river is low, as you can see. And the high season is between December to May, the high season of the river, when there's more rain. And that's a better time to fish, take the kayaks, but you don't have this. All the people swimming here in the river because the water is low now, so they can do that. And it looks really fun to just swim like that in the sunset. I don't want to drown in the river with all my equipment right now. Uh, but yeah, oh look, they constructed these to help you not fall over. In Amazon Beach. Ah, uh, aquí? <laughs> Donde el camino? All right, yeah, I mean, this is where you could, this is how you cross over, so, yeah.
just look at the low water level over here now of the Amazon at this season. And that's why you got all these people who are just swimming, swimming in the Amazon. I mean, they don't have an ocean here, but they have a river, which is kind of looks like an ocean at sometimes. Uh, there are actually points of the Amazon where you can't see the other side. It is that large. Bienvenidos, Isla Santa Rosa, Peru. We made it to our last country of the day. Three countries. <laughs> Necesitas jugador? Sí, un jugador. Jugador? Okay, yeah, they're inviting me to play. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> See? All right, I got, I got what he's saying. Okay. <laughs> Hola. ¿Es posible pagar con eh, real? ¿De qué? Para cerveza. All right. I think it's a good way to end this video with sunset because we're running out of light. Here's our players soldiering on. Just kind of seeing three different countries in three hours, basically. So we hit our target. Who's this guy? Hola. Capitán, bien o no? No. Okay, okay. Pero mi cerveza. Mi cerveza. ¿Dónde es cerveza? Okay, sí, sí, toma, toma. He stole my beer. Look. He stole my beer. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. He's a good lad. All right, now it's time to end this video officially. Taking the boat to Leticia. So thank you for tuning in. Um, yeah, just gotta get across here safely. And... Obrigado. See? Let's go. See, let's go. Yeah, just getting across safely here and yes. more videos from the Amazon to come, I promise. See ya. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.